Inspiring musicians and helping them achieve artistic excellence. Yeah, that's what this week is all about for a group of students participating in the American Harp Academy in Winston-Salem. And our star Connor joins us live now. Star, why is this program so unique? Well, the American Harp Academy has lessons from instructors from around the world. And one student I spoke to, she's traveled all the way from Charlotte in hopes to learn more from this week long program. Tessa Jackson says she's been playing the harp since she was three years old. I love the sound. I love how when you play this instrument, you can do so many different things with it. And I love how it also brings other people joy when I play it. Eager to learn more about the instrument, the 17 year old is participating in the American Harp Academy for the first time. I've learned a lot about technique that um, I knew it was important, but I didn't realize just how important it was to be able to play like certain chords or certain um, arpeggios or just anything um, a lot easier. It, it was a lot easier to play. <laughs> I also learned the importance of being able to listen, because especially on ensembles, you have to be able to listen to other players. Hart professor and academy director Jacqueline Bartlett says the week-long program offers intensive study as well as participation for upcoming competitions, auditions, and performances. Harpists seem to be a little bit more isolated uh, with their instrument. There aren't as many harpists around, so this really gives an opportunity for the harpists to gather together. Bartlett says the harp can produce a wide range of sound from delicate notes to powerful chords. It's a beautiful instrument. You sit and play it, your arms are around it. The entire instrument vibrates. So your body feels that resonance. And to me, it has the most glorious sound and capabilities of any instrument. I feel like the harp or like music in general just brings joy and a certain peace. It definitely brings beauty, more beauty to the world. 